What's going on, dickweeds? Are you ready, Donna? Today's Sunday, you should know that, but if you didn't, I'm here to tell you, hey, it's Sunday. Me and Don are both smoking lemon pie. We're also eating some Caesar salad, hey, fucking rights. Uh, only problem with this Caesar salad is... Donna forgot the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Caesar salad needs Parmesan cheese, Donna. I forgot. <laughs> Back! Hey? No Parmesan cheese. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your likes have been helping oot the channel. Hey? Thanks for helping Oot. Cigarette holder to yous. Uh, I don't got very much for notes today. I don't think I got very much for notes any day. Do I, Donna? I don't think so. Anyway. For those of you keeping up with how many cents I need to make to get paid by YouTube to get my first... Pay pay, 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 fucking. <laughs> Fuck! Hey, my words are fucked today. Uh, yeah. For those of you keeping up with how many cents I need to make before YouTube pays me my first YouTube paycheck, we're down to. <laughs> we need to make two more cents. We need two pennies. So I was saying to Donna, you remember a long time ago, I don't know if people still say the same, but you remember before people would say to people, 
I didn't ask for your two cents. Hey? Eh? Well, <laughs> I'm asking for two cents right now. I need two cents. <laughs> anyway, that probably wasn't even funny. I know Donna finds it funny, but Donna laughs at anything. Hey? Eh? Right, Donna? Yeah, why don't <laughs> Donna's over there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we need to make two fucking cents. Probably have that by the morning, I think. Hey, I hope. Anyway, moving on. We didn't have nothing to talk about today. Uh... We spent most of the day moving stuff around the yard because, uh, well, it's just that time of year, hey? Some things get put away and some things stay oot, but they just need to go into a different spot, hey? I don't know how you guys do it at your house, but I would take you guys oot and show you, but there's a neighbor outside right there. The neighbor behind us has company and... They're chit-chatting, hey, and it's kind of loud. Uh, and the girl that lives beside us here, we share a driveway with, that we share, fuck, hey, the girl we share a driveway with, she's gone, but, well, this stuff's so, never mind. I'm going to show you guys from the window, hey, hopefully you can see. Uh, we moved the picnic table over there because we don't really use it, uh, and, we moved the plants over there, as you can see, and those two right there in the big buckets, we put on cinder blocks so that they can drain, you know, from, yeah, hey, and the other two are on top now, hopefully you can see through the screen, let's go to this window, <laughs> okay, so they're over there now, they get enough sunlight, and that's Donna's onion plant over at the, at the end there, and we had a little bit of a problem today with the tomato plant. Hey, Donna, yeah. would you like to explain that? No. <laughs> no, you, you don't want to talk about it? No. <laughs> well, the tomato plant is no longer with us. <laughs> it's gone to the big tomato field in the sky. <laughs> anyway, so we moved that stuff over there because the side of the house... The grass is a little fuck looking and needs to grow back and plus that tree yeah that tree's dead and it keeps dropping leaves over onto the plants and i heard it's not good to have leaves and stuff land in your plants in your dope plants hey eh? so we moved them over there just so no leaves fall in them anymore hopefully that made sense Hey, I don't know if it did. Okay, Donna has a fucking story. Uh, we didn't have nothing to talk about because, like I said, we're outside all day. We don't really think of anything to talk about. But when we came in, Donna found a story on the line, hey, on the internet. What part of the internet, Donna? Uh, in that No More site, they posted it. It's all I got. Hey, eh? it's all that's left. <laughs> it's not what beer's all about, but it's better than nothing. Hey, eh? fucking race. Okay, what did you say? She'll be right back. Hey. Eh? Yeah, we were thinking the story that Donna came across. We got we got something. Well, I wish that she gets back. There's something else I wanted to uh, add to the story, but we gotta wait. Hey, you ready, Donna? Almost for the story. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's in suspense right now. Don't ever got no. Fucking paper towel. And go anywhere. Don got up this morning. We both got drunk as fuck last night. Hey. And <laughs> I I slept on the on the love seat, 
And Donna pulled two chairs together, and she was sleeping on that because she's short, hey. Eh? And it kind of works for her. And it was hot. It was hot. Yeah, it was, was hot. hot. We we didn't want to go up the bed because it's really hot, and the air conditioner was down here. So anyway, uh. So Donna moved from there, and she came and slept on the dining room floor. And and then I don't know what happened. I blacked out, and somehow I ended up upstairs after in the bed. And then you, I woke up and you were right beside me. <laughs> she she found her way up to bed too after. Uh, so yeah, when Donna got up this morning, she couldn't she couldn't like just go driving because she smelt she smelt of of beer beer yeah dirty old beer. Okay, hopefully you guys could see Donna. I think you can. Okay. So, hang on, I get... <laughs> I'm going to get in a bong toke while Donna tells you guys the story. Okay. And when she's done I, telling you guys a story, I want to add I'm going something. To, I, I screenshotted it so I can read word for fucking word. Word for word. Okay, it says... So, hang on. The 144... For those of you that are not from Timmins, Ontario, the 144 is the highway leading from Timmins, Ontario to Sudbury, Ontario. There's nothing on it except for the watershed at the halfway point. And sometimes your your cell phone doesn't work and stuff for some parts of the highway. It's like really dead. There's, and there's nobody around here. <coughs> some cars pass you, but they're probably not going to stop if you need help. Hey? Yeah, that's, that's uh... It's one of those kind of highways. Anyway. It's not a safe highway. I, I, no. I don't like that highway. Okay. But so it's the only one if you want to go that way, so... You gotta you gotta take it eventually, eh? It says, warning for anyone who travels the Highway 144. This is the highway that Ed was talking about. So it says, me and my son were nearly victims of human trafficking yesterday on the Highway... 144 around 7 p.m. They wait until you are in a cell a cell service dead zone and try to run you off road off the road. OPP passed me. That's better. Hey, fucking right. Going 150 as I flashed him my lights and waved my arms trying so, to get. So so this woman with the child. Was, was driving at 150, trying to get away from somebody. Flashing her light. She says she flashed him, like she flashed her lights. To an OPP officer. Yeah, flashed it, like she flashed her lights at him. And she said she was waving her arms. While the guy was still on her ass trying to run her off. The it was door. probably out, it, it, her arm was probably out the window going like this. And. And they didn't stop, and, and. OPP kept going. So did the guy behind, like it was, so. The lady was driving, doing this speed, while there was another car behind her, right, trying to run her off the road. Yeah. And, and the, OPP, the OPP allowed it to happen, just didn't stop the help or nothing. So it didn't stop to help me or even pull me over for speeding, okay? Something weird is happening on that highway. I've never been so scared in my life. It was an East Indian male in a blue Mazda SUV. Please share and warn others. I fucking hate that highway. Do I believe the story? You fucking right, I do. Yeah, and here's what I wanted to add. If you guys are older subscribers, well, whoever was subscribed was last year, last summer. Uh. Uh. I think it was last. It summer. It was right before COVID started, so like in April, maybe April of last year. Okay, yeah. Uh. We went to Sudbury, Ontario, because you had a doctor's appointment, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we went to Sudbury, Ontario, and on the way back, we were getting followed by a white, a white, uh, what kind of vehicle is that, Don? Do you remember? It's like a, <sighs> it's, uh, it's not it was, like, it was a Chev of some sort, I think. Yeah, but it, uh. We did, we, we, fuck. we mentioned the name of the vehicle, the, the, the make of the vehicle in the video we made. It's, it's not, it's bigger than an SUV, but it's smaller than, it's not. It's not an SUV. It's like a step up from an SUV. Yeah, yeah. And it, it had tinted windows too. So anyway, we were coming back from Sudbury, Ontario. Donna was driving. I was in the passenger seat. And this person came out of nowhere yeah. and started speeding up 
behind us and stuff. And then they and then they got around us in front of us and they started hitting their fucking brakes yeah, and stuff. it happened for a long time. Like they're trying to get us to pull over. I told Donna, just fucking go around them. So we went around and we were going and two vehicles fucking speeded past us. Like they passed us and the vehicle that was following yeah. us. And just as all this happened, there was a cop. Was it OPP? Yes, it was. It was parked... Remember, yeah, in a big surrounding of yeah, and he claimed that he, 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 he yeah he pulled us over and he and he claimed that we were speeding and stuff and and we weren't speeding at all. He he's a fucking liar. But anyway, uh, we were getting followed by this fucking vehicle and the cop didn't do nothing about it. He let that person go and he pulled us over. And that vehicle there. When the cop pulled us over, it, that vehicle stopped and did a U.E. and went back the other way. Yeah. And the cop was not suspicious about that at all. He wasn't suspicious about it at all. So, something's going on on that fucking highway. Like, why wouldn't the Like, I don't know if the, maybe maybe the cops are helping people do stuff? fucking steal people or something because well, they're not, you know. Like, if you were driving and you seen a lady fucking flashing her lights at you, just say regular and fucking waving her arms around would you not fucking think okay so she needs fucking help yeah as a just as a regular person i think i would have to turn my vehicle around and follow and see what the fuck's going on yeah maybe she needs some kind of help or something you know and also call you know call the cops or something while you're fucking following so they can fucking come and take over you know but yeah a cop just kept going on this lady with her child and she thought that they were going to be victims of human trafficking. Yeah. And I never thought nothing about it until Donna read the story. And I was like, well, fuck, that's kind of like what happened to us when we were coming back from Sudbury on the same fucking highway. Except the OPP didn't just ignore it and leave. He pulled us over and let the other guy go. And Yeah. It was kind of fucked. Anyway, Donna got a ticket. And we still got to go to court about that. Eh? Or not court, but... Uh, well, I guess uh, maybe it's like a court, eh? It, well, sort it's, of. It's a little no. Well, we can't it, because of COVID, right? Even though, like you know, there's no there's not many restrictions. I don't. Maybe there's not any restrictions right right now. Like the states doesn't allow their people to come into Canada. They said no to that till like next month sometime. Yeah. But uh, where was I going with this? I don't know. <laughs> what were we talking about? COVID. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so you don't actually go to to ticket court. You go to uh, it, you have to do it in the. You just stay home and talk on your webcam. Oh, there you that's, go. that's all you have to do. But that's fucking scary. Yeah, but if, but if somebody would have, if that person would have got me and Dawn off the road, I don't know if it was in East India or not, because like I said, the windows were tinted on the vehicle. We don't know who was driving. But if that person would have got me and Dawn off the road. They wouldn't have liked what was going to happen. You don't want to fuck with me, especially on that highway. Because I'm not having it. Hey, eh? I would have took my fucking... Never mind. Eh? I would never drive that high. I don't like it as I, in the daytime. I can't, I can't say certain things on here because, you know, we have some police officers that actually watch the channel. And <laughs> I don't I don't need them to come over here and give me a talking to. Eh? I would never drive that highway <laughs> by myself. No, and I wouldn't allow you to go by yourself either. That I, that's, I just don't like that highway. There's nothing there. It's and it's like only single lane. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's it's not a good fucking highway. Not it's a good one. It's horrible. Horrible. So, so just watch out, ladies. Watch out, ladies. Um, and guys, maybe you know. Yeah. If, you, know if you're a dude that can't like defend yourself, you might not want to go down there by yourself. You might not want to go alone. Hey. Eh? Hey, wonder, yesterday, after we are done the show, right, there was some fucking uh, uh, guy, right, they were fucking, they had the helicopter out and everything looking for this guy that ran from the fucking cops, remember? Yeah, somewhere over there on the know. highway. Yeah. But they were coming over here, the, the chopper was circling over here, so I'm assuming maybe they thought he was in the trail, maybe over here behind the houses, but I don't know. I don't know, apparently like they had the, the SWAT team was out. Yep. It's getting pretty fucking bad out there. It's getting bad out there. I'm not really liking it. Not liking it at all. Anyway, uh, Donna's just moving her boiled water. Oh, you're back already. Huh. Yeah. 
So, what do you want to talk about, Donna? I don't got no mm. fucking notes today. I didn't write nothing down except for what day it was, eh? And what we were smoking. I don't know. I don't, uh, nothing's really happened. No, nothing's really happened. It was so boring today that we just moved plants around. And we're not even done yet. We got a couple of other things we're going to do, but... We, we did lots, though. We did lots. We did lots for old people. We did lots for old people. <laughs> we Those big buckets <laughs> with the soil, the earth. Oh, my God. They're heavy. We, we lift, we, we're rolling them, like, across the yard, but that was taking kind of long. So Donna said, well, how heavy are they? <laughs> I said, well, no, I, I, I don't know. So she grabbed an end, I grabbed an end, and we lifted it, and it, it didn't seem too bad. But we had to put them down like two or three times going across yeah. the yard. It got a little heavy as we were going. The picnic table, moving that with Donna was kind of fucked. <laughs> I grabbed it with my arms behind me, like, you know what I mean? And she was facing the regular way. And the reason I was grabbing it that way, because I was going to walk forward, you know, and... <laughs> Donna was going to follow me with the picnic table, and we were going to put it over there. But instead, I picked it up mm -hmm. behind me, and Donna picked up her side, and I could feel a pull. Next thing you know, I'm walking backwards, and Donna put it down. We had to put it down. I had to turn around because Donna figured for some reason. I don't know. How How did you th Donna, why did you think I was going to carry it walking backwards? I don't. What, do you think I was going to moonwalk with the fucking picnic thought, table in my hand? No, I thought you were going to go like this, right? Like, say this, the table's behind you, right? And I thought you were just going to walk like, like this. You were yanking me backwards, Donna. <laughs> Not sideways, backwards. Well, I thought that, you know, I thought you were... I was trying... We had to go my way first because you would have bumped into the pool. I was fine. <laughs> well, you didn't know... My leg was up ready to take my first step and it never touched the ground. I was like, okay, I'm going backwards now. It was fine. No. Yeah, it was. It was good. Anyway. I don't know. It didn't. Say, it doesn't say if that fucking guy was found or not. They didn't say. They, they People are questioned it. The story about Donna's head's growing and stuff. I don't know why. My she keeps, Your head. Oh. You, you keep moving more that way. <laughs> huh. How did you forget Parmesan cheese, Donna? It wasn't on my, uh... You didn't write it on your list? Okay, no, it wasn't on my list. <laughs> at all, because I forgot about it. It's nothing, it's not like, uh, you know... Last time I had Chef Boyardee's raviolis, I said to you, Donna, we're out of Parmesan cheese. Write it on your list. She never did. <laughs> 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 hear that sneeze? You think that's funny? You should hear a fart. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, there's. It's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. It's. You know, a day of doing things. Day of doing things. I don't. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're done talking about the 144, right? <laughs> yeah. That was like... I was going to say, you guys better watch Oot for the cocksucker that's trying to kidnap people on the 144. At least, we don't know if that's really his intentions. Maybe he was going to kill them. <laughs> right? Well, why would you be trying... I've never thought of... Any time that I've ever driven, of running somebody off the fucking road, you no. know, like, I nope. even, like... Never had the urge to do that. When people, <laughs> like, do something that they shouldn't be doing on the road, I still don't fucking think like that. Like, oh, I'm going to run you off the fucking road. Like, that's... Like, 150 is fucking fast, you know what that's I mean? That's pretty fast. That, that's, that's, you know... Don't want to go off the road at 150. I know, but the guy behind her was doing, like, the same, like, you know what I mean? He he really must have wanted to do something bad with them. Because, you know, well, I would have, like, yeah. if I, okay, not that I would run somebody off the road. I, I don't know, but, like, I, 
you know, there's like a, you know, I wouldn't drive. So what, what have we learned this year sitting at home during COVID? I'll tell you what we learned. We learned that East Indians are kidnapping people. Uh-huh. We've yeah. heard several stories of this now here in Timmins. Yeah, even like... East the, Indians are coming to Timmins and kidnapping people. They're... And selling their arses or something for money because... Well, look, they like... Found well, we heard that story that you told me about the... The world. Three... Three East Indians who had the half naked girl running out of the house. Yeah, and there had to be something going there on the there. Ones, uh, where the girl they found in the hotel here with yeah. a whole bunch of mm -hmm. East Indians. Now there's now there's a, now there's an East Indian on the fucking highway trying to chase down women with their kids, their children. I don't know what I would do in that situation. What do you do? No matter what, they're gonna be. I wouldn't care. Like if you're gonna drive on my ass, drive on my fucking ass. Like that's not. But I, I don't think I could go that speed. I. You need to learn how to defend yourself. Well, that's I, what you need to learn how to do. The more I think of it, the more, like I, I feel, uh, you know, <laughs> like scared for that for, for that woman. That's fucking yeah, scary. Yeah, it, it was probably a scary moment for her, I'd imagine. Fuck it, eh? you gotta. So. Fucking, you just gotta go to the bush eventually. So, what do we do? Like, what. Who do you complain to about this kind of stuff? Who are you gonna play, complain to? Well, really if you have, if you you have a certain group of people that are doing this. Yeah, but they're like, not going to do, do that do? because that would, they would say, you know, they. This is the thing with the world, and if if you have, it's not even okay. It could be it. This could be all like say. This is what I need to get out. <laughs> We're talking to a group of people that are doing this, okay? Yeah, people that are coming to our country and, and stealing people. Yes. Now. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all the East Indians doing that, but the ones... No. All the people, kidnappings and stuff that has happened here in Timmins, or the... But people make everything about race, but it's not about race. They just happen to be East Indians. They could be like, you know, you know, 40-year-old guys with just white fucking beards and black hair are doing this, you know what I mean? You're not saying, oh, it's the white, all the white guys. The group just happens to be... Yeah, that's who's doing it. Yeah. I don't know what, like, who do you, the, not the government, because the government let, like, said, okay, come to Canada, fuck, we'll give you all this stuff. Yeah, but who, who like, be, before people come to our country, who, like, screams them, you know what I mean? All they gotta do is know the fucking uh, shit there, uh, your charter of rights, and you gotta know something else. I remember taking this back in school. That's Maybe it? more stuff. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, you have to do a little bit of... You just really have to kind of study a little bit on Canada as well. Like nobody, nobody checks the person's background well, to see if they have don't. a history of kidnapping people in their own country first before they come well, here. Well, what if they never get caught? See? See where, like... They're getting caught a lot over here. <laughs> I don't know. That... You, re you read about it on Facebook all the time. I can't remember all the stories, but the ones that we just said are true. They happened. And you never hear of anybody else. You don't hear, like, you know... The Chinese are here, and they're taking, they're taking people against their will, you know. <coughs> the Russians kidnapped my sister, you know what I mean? You don't hear that kind of stuff. But you always hear of, you know, East Indians are nabbing people, eh? I know, but like, for, I don't know. And I don't, I don't know who you're supposed to uh, complain to about that. I mean, not that... I don't got anything to complain about, but the people that have been getting kidnapped and stuff, I'm sure they got a lot of complaints, and I'm sure that they, you know... Who, who oh, they, yeah, remember, they, too, there was that uh, guy... Like, if uh, you call the Timmins police, most of the time they don't even do anything, they so... Don't really give if you're shit. somebody complaining about almost getting kidnapped, I don't know if they're even going to come to your rescue. There <laughs> has to be... Well, uh, I was going to say, remember not too long ago, there was the East Indian that tried to get the kid, remember? Up by the Shirley Complex thing there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that happened too. So you see? 
And it's, I think it's more or less if you have witnesses, right? Then the cops will say, oh, okay, well, you know, because, but I find that if it's just like one person complaining about something, they don't really care. Yeah, well. That's my. They opinion. better start caring soon. Because I don't think, I don't, you know. Like, I have a question. If, it, if somebody goes to kidnap you, okay, somebody say you're kidnapped, right? But I have a chance to, I see a fucking griping knife, okay? <laughs> Let's just say, okay? And the person is going to do something like bad things to me, okay? Mm -hmm. And if I stab the person doing this, like if I kill them, do I still get charged with killing them? You probably would, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Well, I would have no choice because I'm not. I'm not. There's no fucking. Here, way. here in Canada, there's. I don't think there's such thing as self defense. I don't. Think I, so. I've looked it up a bunch of times, and you can't have self defense weapons. And if somebody's in your property, you're not allowed to kick the shit out of them. Uh, you're not even really allowed to hold them down for the cops. If, if somebody, yeah, if somebody's in your car grabbing stuff, you're supposed to just let them. I think we grab. called one time when we did a video for you guys. Donna called, and if you guys, if you guys were subscribed back then, you'd remember the officer said uh, that you can't even hold them down, but you can follow them. You can call the police and follow them and stay on your on your cell phone with them and say where the person's going until the officer gets there. But you're not allowed to hold them down because if you do that. You could end up going to jail and getting charged. That's what the officer said. If you don't believe me, go back and check out the video. We had it on speakerphone, and that's what the duty officer told us. Yeah, but if uh, but if you have like a half decent judge, right? I guess that. Well, if you have a judge it, that you know he, it like, uh, he fucking thinks normal with his own fucking brain, then you'd you know. Say okay, that I dropped. I am dropping all the charges. This is not even a case. She did it because she was gonna get fucking killed herself. Yeah, like that's if you have a judge that, you know, not paid off. <laughs> yeah, not paid off. There you go. But some judges, they they don't see it. Like they they don't for see. The cops. Yeah, like they they, they like, did. They just want to make everybody miserable. in their little group happy, and it doesn't really matter what you're saying, even if you're innocent, and yeah. Do that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're even talking about. We are just talking about laws. You said, that you said there's not really a oh, yeah. law. Like, you can't yeah. really defend yourself here. No, you can't. I mean, you could, but there's a chance you'll get in trouble. You might get in more trouble than the cocksucker that you're defending yourself from. So. I guess you got to really pick I mean, personally, if somebody came to my house, I want to kick the shit out of them. You better not come in here, but, you know. That's just me. Me too. So, some people might just stand there and Blood follow the rules, you know. Maybe help the burglar even load up the car. <laughs> well, that's pretty much what the law is, you know. You can't stop the person, so you might as well what, you know, grab it into the TV and help him put it in the back of his vehicle because he's going to take it anyway. And there's nothing you could do. Not unless you want to get charged for smacking him. <laughs> well, that's how Canadian law is. That's how, it, that's how it seems when I read it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm not very good at reading, eh? Anyway, anything else to talk about? No. I don't got anything else to talk about either. It's Sunday, eh? Nothing ever happens It's on not Sunday. hot. It's not hot. <laughs> it's warm. It's not hot. <laughs> like, we'll be able to sleep upstairs no problem tonight. Yep. Back to banging, eh? It's not too hot to bang. We'll be back up in the bedroom in no time. Another couple hours and <laughs> look out, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get in my road toke. Uh -huh. I see we got some new subscribers. Secret holder to yous. Old subscribers. People watching that aren't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button and stick around. We upload something every day, sometimes a few things. We never leave really you hanging like a cock. So, boop, hit the button, stick around, watch some videos, get to know us, and, uh, yeah. Final words, Donna. Stay happy. She's eating wine gums. They're only a dollar independent. Donna calls them vine gums. Yeah, I don't call them vine gums. You'd think she was born in Russia or something. Um... Uh, <laughs> she eats vine gums all vinter long. No. <laughs> um, stay happy.
stay happy and stay safe and be kind and have a good day and have a good Sunday and be safe out there because you never know and and uh, fuck maybe people <laughs> she's giving me a shot in the ribs <laughs> maybe people should start what if you have a satellite fucking cell phone will it work in the in the non-service areas I don't know. I've never had a satellite cell phone. Fuck. Or... Who has a satellite cell phone? <laughs> what is a satellite cell phone? <laughs> like the phone that runs off the satellite uh, satellites. Don't they all like kind of do that? Don't they, they run off towers and satellites? I think it's towers, but I don't think there's... I don't think they... I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look that one up. I don't, I don't have an answer for that one, Donna. I don't know. Or get like... They're going to have to start... Satellite a... cell phone. Is that what he said? So Satellite cell phones. Satellite cell phones. I, I gotta look into satellite cell phones. Maybe they should start making. Leave a comment down below if you know anything about. Hey, if you know anything about satellite cell phones. <laughs> what company would give you a satellite cell phone? Uh, you know, like it's like satellite internet. There is companies. Like, Who you know, uses satellite internet though? That's that's expensive stuff, isn't it? No, it's not. It used to be. I'm not anymore. The same price that we pay for our internet. I think my bong needs a cleaning. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what? I was gonna say maybe they should start making cars with CBs built into them. CBs. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can install a CB if you want to. No. That has Are you gonna to talk to the it. truckers? You should have. Oh, are there any truckers out there? I'm be I'm being chased down. Can you CB ahead? To somebody further, <laughs> what, like, what are they going to keep on CB and head to the cops? <laughs> you know, have to have a long antenna for the, no, to be able to CB back just, to town from out there. You just push a button and you would be directly linked to, uh, like, OPP dispatch. With a CB radio. <laughs> yeah, like cold. It's not going to reach that far. Well, how do you know? Because... <laughs> okay, we don't want to see Dawn anymore. You really think that a CB halfway down the highway is going to pick up back here in town? At the OPP station or in Gogama even. Halfway to You got court. fuzz in your nose again, Donna. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. I don't know if you guys know this, Donna always... I... <laughs> Our son Justin, he used to... He used to sit there with a piece of fuzz... All the time. And, and breathe with it against his fucking nose while he sucked his thumb when he was younger. He used to have to have one of those fuzzy blankets, uh, uh, what are they called? The kind that are kind of fuzzy, you know what I mean? And he'd, he'd have to hold it close to his nose while he was sucking his thumb and he'd breathe the little, the little pieces of cotton into his nose. I think he gets it from his mother. No. <laughs> I think so. Oh, cotton nose over here, eh? <laughs> anyway, I think that's all we got. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fuck off Uda here, smoke some more weeds, drink some more beers, smoke some more weeds. Bag. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say Donna's gonna eat some more vine gums, but yeah, <clears throat> she'll probably eat them while we bang. Donna does that sometimes. Hey? I'm not, no. She likes to eat candy while we bang. No. <laughs> she puts a bowl of candy on her back for me sometimes, too. Eddie! I don't. <laughs> I don't know you are making scuff marks. <laughs> okay. That's it. Yeah, Donna messed up the ending, so we're just gonna leave now. Hey. I'm not saying anything. You did. Nope. You did. You said you tried to you talked over me with your your saying. I went to say vine gums and you said bang, remember? Oh. And we didn't finish it. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Until next time. Hey. Like. Subscribe. And fuck off. Hey. You don't want that one.
These are a little bit thicker, right? They're a little bit thicker. All of them, or maybe? No, everything's thicker in that bag. <laughs> the bag will last you a long time. Just that bag will, the, those candies will last you, Donna. They're nice and thick, just the way you like it. We know you like thick things. I got them for you. You got them for me? Fuck <laughs> off. 